I also want to talk about this briefly. I'm all about meeting billionaires these days. I want to meet all the future billionaires. But to me, a billionaire is not someone with a lot of money. I don't care about money anymore. We make it. Um, uh, <laughs> I care about people that are going to change the lives of a billion people or more. You know, a billionaire. And you want to take these old ideas and give them new meaning. You know, we are, it's the blockchain is the technology that's going to change the world. But technology isn't conscious, right? Technology doesn't know the difference between good or bad. And this old adage of money is power, that paradigm is coming to an end. You know, this new paradigm is technology is power and having money won't buy you a seat at the table anymore. It's being, doing something with your money and your resources. It's taking your superhero powers and skills and applying them for the benefit of others. And that's what's going to allow you to be part of these big clubs. And we're not competing on any projects. You aren't, when there's someone else doing something similar to you, it's not competition. It's split testing. Someone is, is trying a different variant to the same idea and we need to try it all because if any of us is successful in changing the world, we all win. The only competition that's out there are the people that lack integrity. Those are the people we need to compete with. Those are the people we want to put out of business. And there's this concept of ikigai, which is a, you know, a big kind of driver. And, and we all, human beings are inherently good and we want to find purpose. And it's when you get that alignment of interest where you're doing something you love. And I, God, is life good right now? And the reason why we want everyone to be unemployed is a lot of people work to live and that's not a great way to be. You know, and it's what the world needs. What you know, people are willing to compensate you for, meaning they agree you're good at it too, you know, at what you're good at. And it's the combination of all those things where you eventually find this Japanese principle and your ultimate purpose in the center. And everything in the world can be done better. Another great Japanese term is Kaizen. And it's the idea of continual improvement. Everything that we show up for in life, do it the best you can. And I want to talk about this. Does anyone know what this is? Um, I'm obviously a long time burner. And I, th I think of the blockchain as the technology that's going to change the world. And I think of Burning Man culture as the thing that will save it. And Burning Man is not a place. It's a way of being. Um, and I just encourage you all to dream. Yeah. Dream big. Because <laughs> we, we can all be magicians. We can all be magicians, which is, I, I think, the main title people have given me this, these days. And, you know, let's not forget to operate from the heart, and let's not forget Mother Earth. Let's be responsible with the resources around us. You know, let's, let's be adults. And it's not about, hey, do I think this is good or bad? Let's just always operate as best we can, and we're going to make mistakes. You know, and there's always a path to redemption. You know, as long as someone is demonstrating that they're continuing to improve and grow, you know, give them second chances. You know, and I think... Uh, I guess believe. A couple of predictions as my last statement. ICOs to replace venture capital, private equity REITs. We're going to see more than 1,000 ICOs attempted in Q4. I think by the time we're done, we're going to break 4 billion this year and 10 billion next year. Um, you know, and these are the sorts of numbers that make people pay attention. And if you want to ever ask me anything, you can go to brock.ai. That was a present from my wife last year. That's the artificial intelligent version of me that tries to answer the same questions that have been asked before. Thank you.